Um, so this first one talks about athletes um, and drug tests. And so it says, suppose that 2% of athletes had actually taken a banned drug and that the testing procedure had a false positive rate of 1% and a false negative rate of 0.5%. And we're supposed to find the probability that an athlete who tests positive actually took drugs. And it's really hard to try to focus all this information and try to find the probability just by looking at the problem. So a, tr a tree diagram can be very, very helpful in organizing your information. Okay, so we're going to start with a randomly chosen athlete. Okay, now that athlete either took drugs or did not take drugs. And it says that, uh, suppose that 2% of athletes had actually taken banned drugs. So that would be 2% or 0.02 that actually took the drugs, that would imply that the other 98%, 0.98, did not take drugs. Okay, then it says that um, the false positive rate was 1%. So a false positive is when they didn't take the drugs but it says they did. So they did not take the drugs, but it says they tested positive. Okay, so a false positive. That's a rate of 1%, so 0 0.01. So then that would imply that the test would say negative, so that out of the people who did not take, dr take drugs, the test would say that they are negative 99% um, of the time. Okay, so then it says that a false negative is 0.5%. So that means that they did take the drugs, but the test said negative. Okay, so it says they're clean, that they don't have any drugs, when they actually did take drugs. And that happens 0.5%. So if we move that decimal place two to the left, it would be 0 0.005. So then that would imply that 99.5% of the tests when you take drugs will say you took drugs. 99.5%, so that'd be 0.995. Okay, now to get our final probabilities, we have to multiply along the tree branches. So for example, if I want my final probability along this branch, I'm gonna multiply 0 0.02 times 0.995. And when I multiply those together, I get 0 0.0199. Then I'm going to multiply along this branch. So 0 0.02 times 0 0.005. And we get 0 0.0001. Then along this branch, we go 0 0.98 times 0 0.01. and we get 0 0.0098 and then 0 0.98 times 0 0.99 and we get 0 0.9702 okay so now we have to revisit the question 
It says, what's the probability that an athlete who tests positive actually took drugs? So another way of phrasing that is we want to figure out the probability that they actually took drugs when their test turned out positive. That's a conditional probability. We're looking for the probability that they took drugs given that their test was positive. So with yesterday we talked about conditional probability um, and is always what goes on top. So we're looking for the probability that they took drugs and tested positive. And on the bottom, you do the probability of the given statement. So the probability that they test positive. OK, so the probability that they took drugs and test positive. So let's go along that tree branch. They took drugs and they test positive. That was this probability right here, 0 0.0199. Now, the people who tested positive, okay, well, we have test positive here and we have test positive here. So the total probability of testing positive would be those two added up. So, 0 0.0199 plus 0 0.0098. Okay, so then that's going to end up equaling 0 0.0199 on the top. And when you add these two on the bottom, you get 0 0.0297. That's a 9. And when you divide those out, you get 0 0.67. So, um, we would say 67% of athletes who test positive actually took drugs. Okay, let's move on to the next tree diagram. Okay, now this problem is about athletes in high school who go on to be um, on, go on to professional sports. Okay, so it says only five percent of male high school basketball, baseball, and football players go on to play at the college level. Of these, only one point seven enter major league professional sports. 0.01, read that again, 0.01%, that's a really small percent, of high school athletes are able to make the jump immediately from high school to the professional level. Make a tree diagram to show the different possible scenarios and their probabilities. Um, I'm going to use words instead of the symbols, so let's not worry about A and B. I think it's just, it's just better to use words, and you don't always have to go back and refer to what those were. Okay, so we're talking about male high school athletes Okay, and either that male athlete will either compete in college or not Okay, and let's see. Up here it says 5% go on to play at the college level. So 5%, 0 0.05, would go here. That would mean that the other 95% do not compete in college. So 0.95 would go there. 
Okay, then it says, um, of the ones that play in the college level, of these, 1.7% enter major league professional sports. So if, if you compete in college, you might go pro or you might not go pro. And this says, of the ones that competed in college, 1.7 go pro. Um, so move the decimal place two to the left, we would have 0 0.017 that become professional sports players. The other 98.3% or 0.983 would not be professional athletes. Okay, then it says 0.01% um, make the jump immediately from high school to professional level. So they don't compete in college, but they still can become professional athletes. And then the other option is those who do not compete in college also do not go professional. Okay, so 0 0.01, if we move that two decimal places to the left, then this would be 0 0.0001. So that means that the other option is 0.9999. Okay, so now we need to multiply along the branches. So we're going to do 0 0.05 times 0 0.017. And we get 0 0.00085. Multiply along the next tree branch, 0 0.05 times 0.983, and we get 0 0.04915, then 0.95 times 0 0.0001, and we get point. Zero 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 nine five, and then the last one point nine five times point nine 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 nine, we get point nine four nine nine zero five. Okay. Now the question is asking, what's the probability that a high school athlete goes pro? So high school athlete can go into the professional level by either competing in college, that's that probability, or they can go professional without competing in college. They can make that jump. That's that probability. So all we need to do now is just add those two probabilities up. So it would be 0 0.00085 plus 0 0.00095. And when you add those up, you get 0 0.00945. And if we move that decimal place two to the right, it would be 0.0945%. Okay, so that's the probability that a high school athlete goes to the professional level in this problem. Okay, all right, I have two more examples. I have to make a second video, so watch video number two now.